Hey guys, video six. And uh, for this video, I'm, I thought of something more billiard related again. You know, last video was Dubai and the challenge. And this one's gonna be more about billiard training again. Since I cannot go to the table right now, um, I thought of something else. Um, in December, before the World Championship, my brother and I, we had a workshop at the academy with coach Johan Rusink. You might know him, he was the coach of Team USA at the Moscone Cup. And in my opinion, he's one of the best coaches that we have in our sport. So he came to Klagenfurt to train with us, to prepare us for the World Championship, to give us new inputs, new ideas, new drills. I recorded some stuff back then, so I thought I'll show you a few drills that we did at the workshop. So I'm gonna show you three drills in this video and some more drills in my next video. So, uh, build your stuff again. I hope you like it. This drill is great for practicing the long pots and uh, your position game. Also, you can make this uh, drill more difficult if you want to. Uh, in this case here, you have eight balls on the head string. These are your cue balls and these cue balls will become your object balls. So that's why uh, you can use just the cue ball. You have here an object ball uh, and the first thing that you need to do is choose a ball on the head string. There is no order. Make the ball into the corner pocket and then come over with your cue ball to the other side of the table. Once you have done this, choose another ball from the head string. Make once again the ball into the corner pocket and once again you have to come over with your ball to the other side of the table. And you keep doing this until all the balls are gone of course, but you always have to cross over from the A side to the B side. You can make the drill more difficult if you want to. So level one would be all eight balls on the head string. Level two would be go back one diamond and level three would be go back another half diamond. And if that's not difficult enough for you, you can say you play level one. If you make it, you go to level two. If you mess up on level two, you have to go back to level one. Make level one and then you're allowed to go to level two again. Um, so that makes it a bit more difficult and that's the way we did it and it's interesting, a bit frustrating, <laughs> but it will definitely help your game. This drill I liked very much. Um, with this drill, you can really work on your stun draw technique. Um, easy to set up, you only have two balls, a second diamond. At the beginning, you have cue ball in hand, only once, just at the beginning. Um, you make the first object ball into the corner pocket and you go two rails and out and play position for the ball on the other side of the table. You do the exact same thing with the other ball, make into the corner pocket, go two rails and out and once again back to the other half of the table. The important thing about this is that the drill is not done after those two balls. You actually keep going until you miss or play a bad position. So you can really go for a high score here uh, and see how long you can actually play this drill without making a mistake.
This rail is great for your position game. Uh, four balls here, four balls here, cue ball in hand only at the beginning. And you don't have to play by any order. You can choose the ball you want to start with. So you make the first ball into the corner pocket, play two rail and come down here for position for the next ball. Then again, same thing, make the ball into the corner pocket, two rail and come back out here to play position for the next ball. It's very important to stick to the rules. There is no such thing as one rail position or three rail, four rail, five rails. Don't play any funky shots. It's really about your position game and your consistency. So stick to the rules. It's always two rail and out. Um, it looks doable. Of course it's doable, don't get me wrong. But at the beginning I thought that, that seems easy. <laughs> it was not. This was video six. Um, I hope you're all very motivated now to go to the pool table and try out some of these drills. Um, I will show you some more drills in my next video. Uh, and if you're all wondering what I'm using here, this is QLab, a new app on the market for your billiard training. Perfect to draw your drills and layouts and stuff like that. You can share it with others. Really cool app for your billiard training. So check this one out and uh, people, Stay safe, stay healthy, make the best of the situation, and I talk to you soon.